Okay, this is a Nokia Lumia 820 with a broken screen. I'm going to place the screen on this uh, on this uh, Windows smartphone. The first thing you got to do is power it off, and the next thing you got to do is to um, remove the battery cover, and um, and then so you can take the battery out uh, out of it, and as well as all the SIM cards if they've got it inside. So what you do is you put your fingers on the back here, and you press on the top right hand corner, and put some pressure on that. Turn it over because the battery come loose. Put the battery case down, and then flip the battery out, and there you have it. The back cover taken off with the battery. Right, the next thing you need to do is get a T5 screwdriver and take out these three Torx screws here on the back of the uh, Nokia Lumia. So just put your screwdriver in gently and take out the screws. Next thing you're going to do is take out the next T of the Torx screwdrivers. There's one, two, three, and four. Next thing to do is take the Torx screwdriver, which is a T9, and take out the four screws in the corner here, in the corners. Once you've removed the four corners of the screws from the four corners, just lift up the chassis and put it to one side. Right, what we're going to do now is remove these two connectors here, the one touch connector here and the display connector here, just using a spudger. Just flick it up gently underneath, that pings up. And moving on to the display connector, flick it up and move it back gently. Once you've removed the one touch connector and the display connector, just pick up the motherboard and put it to one side. Next thing we need to do is remove the speaker from up here. Next thing we need to do is remove the LCD here from the, the main um, digitizer casing. So using a spudger, or an ISESMO tool I've got here, you just put it under one of the clips here and gently push it up. Now be careful because the LCD is on the other side. Gently push it up and put it to one side. So what we're going to do now is take the digitizer from the front chassis. We're going to need to put apply a bit of heat around the edges with the heat gun here. Right now I've heated it up a bit, I'm just going to get the ISESMO tool and gently put it on the edge and work it in. It's quite hot, you can see the glass is breaking already, so it's quite difficult to get in there without making a lot of mess.
I need a pair of tweezers here, just to get the little bits of glass off here. Okay, now we've got the screen off, the digitizer off. I've taken, um, we've taken the uh, the uh, some of the uh, old uh, adhesive off and re-glued, uh, re-put down some double-sided tape, some Scotch from 3M double-sided tape here, along the edges, and uh, on the top. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do now is just peel off the um, peel off the paper, uh, the backing paper, and then we'll put the new screen on. Okay, what we're going to do now is get the new digitizer and put it on to the uh, on back onto the uh, the uh, device, the, the chassis. So it comes with a, a protective film on the back to make sure you remove that. Be careful not to put your fingers on it. You get lots of smudge marks, which you don't want. Turn it around and place the ribbon through the hole here. So just gently swizzle it through there. Be careful with it, it's a bit fiddly. Place it down at the top end, nice and gently, making sure it's square. and just gently squeeze it into place, making sure the ribbon's not pinched. Okay, just squeeze that into place. And later on we'll put it under a bit of pressure by putting some gentle weight on it so that it it's, adheres properly and may even heat it a little bit so the glue gets nice and sticky. So that's the new digitizer on. Now I'm just going to reassemble it by putting the LCD back on. Okay, what we're going to do now is put the LCD back into the slot, back into the uh, on, on top of the digitizer case. Um, so you've got the digit original digitizer here. Main thing is to keep uh, sorry the LCD here. Main thing is to keep this uh, smudge free, and uh, there's a bit of dust gathered on it, so it's giving it a Quick, gentle wipe with a lint-free cloth, get rid of any any scuffs or stains uh, or gentle marks. Obviously, there aren't, there aren't too many on there, so just give it a quick, gentle wipe with a lint-free cloth, as I said. And uh, last thing we want is any thumbprints or anything like that on it, so it's nice and clean. And um, now we've got the. Um, the digitizer ribbon here, cable here. So with the LCD, you swap it over, turn it over facing the right way. The display um, ribbon is sticking out to the far side there. So just gently slot that down into place, gently lower it down into the casing, and put those clips in place on the side. The three clips go into place. So just put a bit of gentle pressure, not, not too hard, and there you have. The LCD back in place. Okay, once we've got the LCD back on, the next thing we do is put the earpiece, the ear, ear piece speaker, back into position. It's quite magnetic, so just get a little piece of dust off it there. Put it back in, making sure that the clips are facing to the right down this down the body of the of the. Uh, of the phone so the little springs there should be facing that way 
if you've got them facing that way, it's the wrong way around. So just get that gentle prod back in there, and there's the earpiece back in. Right now we've got the mother, uh, the sort of speaker uh, earpiece back in place. We're going to put the motherboard back on. So it's got four slots in the corners, so it makes it nice and easy to guide it back in. So you just put the guide, the, uh, the guides into the slots, the slots into the guides, and then place it down, and it just jump, gently rests there. And we're going to put the casing on next. Okay, before we put the uh, the casing back on, we're going to need to put these two uh, display cap uh, ribbons and the digitizer ribbon back on. So just take it, bend it down, gently press it into place. You hear the click, and press the ribbon down over the case there, over the component, and gently press that back in. Right, the next thing to do is put the casing back on top of the motherboard, which you just place over like that, and press it home, and then we put in the screws back into place. Okay, what we're going to do now is put the T9 screws back into the four corners here, and to make sure that casing's back in place properly. I'm doing opposite corners here, just so it goes down as evenly as I can get it. Next we put in the T5 screws back into place as one, two, three, four. Yeah, be careful with these small T5s, or screws generally on iPhones or smartphones, they're quite small and they can flick off everywhere. Finally, put in the, the final three screws back in to the casing. These are T5s as well. Last thing we do is put the battery in before we put the case on. Put the case on over the top like that, turn it over and press it home. That's the casing, the new digitizer put on. We're going to give it a quick charge and then we'll test it in a second. Okay, we've got it on charger now. Um, you can see the uh, it's all working. Just give me a quick charge. You peel the uh, casing off, uh, the, the protector off the front, and there we have one completely um, new screen or new digitizer on the Nokia Lumia 820, and it's quite an easy fix.